Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be simulating the career of a 99 overall player with high franchise potential, X-Factor abilities, the whole nine yards. At the moment we have performed two career simulations on NHL 23, that would be Slavkovsky and Bedard, but this time around I wanted to take a custom player who is the best possible player in the game just so that we can see how they do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into a simulation on NHL 23 to see what would happen in the full career of a 99 overall player. Heads up, Bedard, there is a new sheriff in town, and his name is Happy Gilmore. The Minnesota Wild go from pick 7 to pick 1. The draft lottery treated them well, and so did their scouts as they pick up Happy Gilmore with the first pick. He is a 99 overall, high franchise player, and hopefully he's going to bury the biscuit. No breaking news here, really. Just the Minnesota Wild roster. Wallstedt backing up Fleury. An entry-level contract for Happy, and they finish fourth in the Central the first year. Happy leads the team with 94 points, so he's off to a great start here. 15 points in just 11 playoff games, and he goes home with a Calder. It would be the Edmonton Oilers that take out Minnesota in round two, and they would do so in six games. The 08 cover boy is the top retiring player for year number two. Now in year three, Wallstedt is up to 87 overall he will be the starter the team finishes second in the central with 102 points and we get 105 from happy who puts up seven points in five playoff games another first round exit but he gets the art ross the heart and the ted Lindsay in his second season and as you can see the st louis blues would be the team to beat them in six games this time and evgeny malkin almost doubled the next retiring player so he was definitely the highlight of the year three retirement class in year four wall set up to 89 now happy gilmore obviously still going to be on the first line the team finishes first in the central this time happy just shy of another art ross and the playoff run would be cut short again. This time, it would be at the hands of the Colorado Avalanche, beating them in five games. And fresh off of an Art Ross, Ovi decides he's going to hang up the skates this year. Kirill the Thrill, O'Reilly, and Happy Gilmore, the first line for the Minnesota Wild in year five. A nice new deal there. Seven years at 12.1 million. They finish fourth in the Central, and Happy puts up just under 90 points this season. Another short playoff run. They only had six games. The Vancouver Canucks would take them down this time in round one, and Anze decided he's done with playing hockey. At least in the NHL. Could go play hockey elsewhere. The Minnesota Wild finish second in the Central Division with 104 points, and we almost get 120 from Happy. Another short playoff run, but he does get an Art Ross, a Hart, and another Ted Lindsay in year number six. He is stacking up the hardware. The Blues would be the ones to delete the Wild this time around, and Sidney the Kidney decides he's done at just under 1,900 points. Marco would be set to be the new centerman for Happy and Kirill the Thrill. This year, the Minnesota Wild finish second in the entire league. Happy gets 104 points, which is just shy of another Art Ross, and he gets a con smite this time, so I might not have gotten an Art Ross, but he did win himself a Stanley Cup, and he did get himself a con smite. The Blues almost took them. It was seven games in round two, but other than that, they didn't really struggle. So that was by far their best playoff run yet. And they keep that success rolling into this season as they win the President's Trophy, getting 126 points. Gilmore gets 105, which is good enough for third in the league. But in terms of playoffs, they're back to old habits. They would be deleted in round number one by the San Jose Sharks. Happy Gilmore did win himself a Rocket Richard this year, though. So that is a trophy that he has not yet seen. Kirill, Rossi, and Gilmore still the first line for the Wild. And this season, they would finish third in the Central. Gilmore once again coming second in the Art Ross race. Gets 108 points, only seven playoff games. This would be the Coyote season to take out the Wild. Leafs won the Stanley Cup, and Jonathan Hiberdeau retires with 1,222 points. A lot of twos in there. Whilst that's still the starter, 87 overall, they finish first in the Central, back on top. 101 points. Gilmore finishes second on the team. Kirill the Thrill had himself an amazing season. Only seven playoff games again, but a Rocket Richard winning season for Happy nonetheless. Dreisaitl retires with a flat 1,600 points. It's always nice to see those rounded numbers, so thank you for that, Dreisaitl. I appreciate you. Gilmore, Kaprizov, and a 90 overall Marco Rossi still make up the first line there, and they win the President's Trophy this season. Happy Gilmore finishes second in the league with 113 points. Another deep playoff run, 21 games, is good enough for the Stanley Cup. They made light work of it this time, no Game 7s. Gilmore would go home empty-handed in terms of individual trophies, but the team trophy is the ultimate prize, so I'm pretty sure 
that he'd be happy with that. A new contract is signed. Six years at 13.6 million. That is massive. The team finishes second in the central. Gilmore gets 95 points, which would lead the team. And another deep playoff run. He wins the Conn Smythe and back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. Unlike last season, where it went to five games in the Stanley Cup Finals, the Wild decided they were going to bring out the brooms this year. Warner is the new centerman Rossi down on the second line. Not sure how I feel about that, but I'm not controlling the team, so I'll let them do their thing. Gilmore puts up 101 points. A second round exit would come at the hand of Chicago, and Miko Rantanen retires with 1,364 points. Kirill the Thrill is no more, and Arthur Kelyev will fill that spot on the first line left wing. They still make the playoffs, finishing third in the central. 27 games played, and 25 points. Good enough for another Stanley Cup. That is their fourth in this simulation so far. And we also got to see a Rocket Richard headed to Happy yet again. At the age of 37, Pedersen joins the Minnesota Wild. He will be playing with Happy this season. They finish third in the central again. Happy puts up 102 points good enough for a third in the league a short playoff run this year but you know what they've been on quite the streak recently so it's bound to happen adb retires just shy of 1500 points feels bad in year 16 the wilds offense is looking well not so great but they still have gilmore which gets them third in the central division again and he puts up 112 points although they made the playoffs it was a very brief appearance as they would go down in five games kyle connor finishes with just over 1500 points feels good the offense still looking pretty lackluster but the first line had a slight improvement i suppose He's taken up a lot of the cap here, I'm not going to lie. 15.5 million, but it sort of makes sense. So the team does have a little bit of success this year. 100 points at a happy Gilmore and 11 playoff games. They made it to round number two, which is a slight improvement over the last couple years, but still not exactly what they're looking for. Their first line centerman is 77 overall. What's going on here, guys? But never fear, for happy Gilmore is here. He gets a new three-year, basically $15 million deal. He finishes first on the team with 97 points and manages to carry the Wild to the second round as well as third in the Central Division. Yes, I'm going to say he carried them because, to be honest, looking at the team, he's got to be doing most of the work. In year number 19, it is the first season the Wild don't make the playoffs. They finish fourth in the Central, and Gilmore does not even lead the team. He had 72 points for the squad this year which is still good enough for second on the team, but I think that's his first time not being point a game in this entire simulation as well. The Wild fail to qualify for the playoffs in their second straight season. Gilmore back on pace though, gets 109 points, good enough for second in the league, and the cover boy decides he's done after year number 20. The Wild offense looking a little bit better, I guess? Their goaltenders are all right. A new deal is signed again, two years at 10.7 million for Happy Gilmore. He leads the team with 90 points and only gets them to five playoff games this year as they would go out to St. Louis in round number one. And you know you're too far into franchise mode when generated prospects start retiring. We have hit that stage. Gilmore is down to 86 overall, so he is dropping quick. The team still finishes fourth in the Central Division and Gilmore clearly had injury problems not playing the entire playoffs or playing the entire season. But he is getting old, so it does make sense. And he's down to 81 overall on the fourth line. He has been loyal to the Minnesota Wild, who missed the playoffs, finishing seventh in the Central Division. And on that note, in year number 23, Happy Gilmore does decide that he is done getting 1,058 goals, 1,078 assists. With only a differential of 20, that is a pretty even split. That playoff run where he put up 37 points in 21 games is legendary, and hopefully I got all these trophies correct. Feel free to correct me in the comments if I did get them wrong. I try to keep track of them as best I can, but sometimes mistakes do happen. He finished second all time, only behind Wayne Gretzky. So that's a pretty successful career if you ask me, but that's only if you're asking me. Well, on that note, I thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'm thinking of doing a goaltender simulation next. I'd be interested to see how a 99 overall goalie would do in the NHL. If you did enjoy the video, if you could leave a like, that would be awesome. And I will be seeing you soon.